In the annals of history, certain individuals emerge as symbols of courage, resilience, and unyielding determination. Queen Nzinga of Ndongo and Matamba, a remarkable 17th-century African leader, stands as a testament to these qualities. Her life story is one of unceasing resistance against Portuguese colonization and a fervent fight for her people's independence. With strategic brilliance and an unwavering spirit, Queen Nzinga's legacy continues to inspire and fuel the flames of African resistance to this day. A glimpse into Queen Nzinga's world, Queen Nzinga was born around 1583 to Ngola Kiluanji Kia Samba, the ruler of Ndongo, in what is now modern-day Angola. Her birth into the royal family destined her for a life that would be marked by remarkable feats of leadership and defiance. From a young age, Nzinga was exposed to the complexities of politics, diplomacy, and the machinations of power. As the Portuguese intensified their colonization efforts along the West African coast, Queen Nzinga recognized the imminent threat to her people's sovereignty. Queen Nzinga was a female African leader who fought against the Portuguese colonization of Angola. She was the queen of the Ndongo and Matamba kingdoms, and she was known for her intelligence, courage, and political skills. Nzinga was born in the Ndongo kingdom, which was located in what is now Angola. She was the daughter of King Ngola Kaluanji I and Queen Nzinga Band. She was educated in the traditional ways of her people. And she also learned Portuguese and became fluent in the language, when her brother, King Ngolam Band, died in 1622, Nzinga's nephew, Ban II, succeeded him. However, he was a weak ruler and the Portuguese were able to take control of the Ndongo Kingdom. Nzinga refused to accept Portuguese rule, and she led a rebellion against them. The war between Nzinga and the Portuguese lasted for many years. Nzinga was a skilled diplomat, and she was able to forge alliances with other African kingdoms. She was also a brilliant strategist, and she was able to outmaneuver the Portuguese on many occasions. In 1630, Nzinga was forced to flee the Ndongo Kingdom. She established a new capital in the Matamba Kingdom, and she continued to fight against the Portuguese. In 1656, Nzinga signed a peace treaty with the Portuguese, but she continued to resist their colonization efforts. She was a brilliant and courageous leader who inspired her people to resist Portuguese colonization. She is remembered as a champion of African resistance and a symbol of strength and determination. A defiant spirit, Queen Zinga's reign was characterized by her indomitable spirit and her refusal to succumb to Portuguese subjugation. She understood that the survival of her kingdom depended on her ability to outweat the colonizers, and she was more than up to the challenge. Nzinga was a skilled diplomat, renowned for her strategic negotiations. She entered into various alliances with neighboring states and even offered asylum to escaped slaves, further bolstering her resistance against the Portuguese, the brilliant strategist, Queen Zinga's strategic brilliance was evident in her military tactics and innovative thinking. She exploited the terrain of her kingdom to her advantage. Using guerrilla warfare tactics that made it difficult for the Portuguese to predict her movements. Her forces adopted hit-and-run strategies, ambushing the colonizers and then disappearing into the dense jungles, frustrating their attempts to control her territories, one of the most iconic stories from Queen Zinga's life is her legendary meeting with the Portuguese governor. When offered only a low chair during negotiations, she had one of her male attendants kneel down and served as her human chair. This bold move was both a political statement and a symbol of her unyielding authority. Her ability to command respect, even in the face of colonial arrogance, showcased her remarkable leadership qualities. Legacy of Resistance, 
Queen Nzinga's legacy reverberates through the corridors of history as a beacon of hope and resilience. Her relentless efforts to protect her people's autonomy have left an indelible mark on African resistance against colonial forces. She remains a symbol of the strength that individuals can summon when their land and freedom are under threat, her legacy has inspired subsequent generations of African leaders and activists to stand up against oppression and to fight for justice and self-determination. From the struggles against apartheid to modern movements advocating for socio-political equality, Queen Zinga's spirit lives on, empowering those who continue the fight for a more just and equitable Africa. In conclusion, Queen Zinga's life was a symphony of defiance, a testament to the human spirit's ability to triumph against seemingly insurmountable odds. Her strategic brilliance, political acumen, and unwavering determination have left an indelible mark on the history of African resistance against colonization. Her legacy serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, courageous individuals can rise to the occasion, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and embolden generations to come. As we reflect on her life, may we draw strength from her example and continue the struggle for a world where justice and freedom prevail. In addition to the above, here are some other interesting facts about Queen Zinga. She was a master of disguise and she often dressed as a man in order to deceive her enemies. She was a skilled negotiator and she was able to get the Portuguese to agree to favorable terms in the peace treaty she signed with them. She was a patron of the arts and she supported the development of traditional African culture. She was a devout Catholic and she built a number of churches in her kingdom, Queen. Nzinga was a complex and multifaceted figure. She was a warrior, a diplomat, a politician, a religious leader, and a patron of the arts. She was a brilliant and courageous leader who inspired her people to resist Portuguese colonization. She is remembered as a champion of African resistance and a symbol of strength and determination.